You need to change this one setting right now to optimize Windows 10 and Windows 11 for ultimate gaming and performance. This will not only help you boost FPS and increase the performance in all games, but also reduce the input delay as well. So let's dive into it. But quickly guys, if you want zero ping in any game that you play, then check out the Gear Up Booster from the link in the description as it provides you with the optimal network routes, giving you zero ping and packet loss in every game. So go down into the description and download the Gear Up Booster now and now let's get back into the video. The setting I'm talking about is the game power presence writer now what this does is actually run in the background using up cpu as well as memory resources this is helpful for only those people who are going to be recording their gameplays using the game power which i really don't recommend and you can use alternatives like obs or even the nvidia shadow play so inside of this video we will be going ahead and disabling the game power presence writer.exe completely hence freeing up some of the cpu resources giving you a boost in fps and the overall performance of your windows starting off what you need to do is open up your file explorer and then go on to the drive where you have installed your windows for me it's my c drive and then go ahead and go to windows inside of here just go ahead and find the folder that is system 32 so click anywhere type in s and keep pressing s until you find the system 32 folder for me it's right here and don't worry there isn't any harm in doing these settings and you can always go ahead and revert it as well so open up system 32 and once inside of here once again click on any of these folders and this time type in g to go ahead and find the game bar presence writer.exe which is right here so what we need to do is rename this to anything else so it doesn't start up the next time you boot your windows but if i go ahead and right click on it go on to rename and then just go ahead and press one at the end of it and press enter you'll see that it says the file access is denied and i don't have the permissions to rename it in order to fix this all we need to do is right click on it and click on properties inside of here we need to go to the security and then click on the advanced section then go on to the owner and then click on this change button right here and inside of the enter the object name to select we need to go ahead and type in our account name now to find out that go ahead and open up your start menu click on these settings and if you're using windows 11 just go on to the accounts and the same thing for windows 10 once inside of here if you're using a local account like me all you need to do is remember the account name for me it's Regnetic, and all i need to do is remember this however if you're using a microsoft account which i don't know why because i really recommend you to sign out of your microsoft account and use a local account but if you're using a microsoft account you will need to remember your email through which you have signed up to your microsoft account once you have got that all you need to do is type in the account name or if you're using a microsoft account then type in the email inside of here i'm gonna go ahead and type in reknotix since that was my account name and if i go ahead and click on check names if i have typed in the name right it should be underlined like this once that is done all you need to do is click on ok and then we need to go ahead and click on ok once again then going on to the advanced section one more time and this time what we need to do is click on change permissions and after that all we need to do is click on add and inside of here for selecting a principal what we need to do is type in that account name or that account email once again so i'm gonna go ahead and type in let me take once more click on check names if it's correct it should be underlined hit ok and then just go ahead and check the full control which should give us all of the permissions once that is done click ok and then go ahead and hit apply it will give you a security warning but it's completely fine because we are going to be going ahead and modifying a file so all you need to do is hit yes hit ok once again and we need to go into the advanced one last time inside of here what we need to do is change the owner back to the trusted installer so click on change and this time what you need to do is type in the n d and then service and then a front slash and trusted installer if you click on check names it should say trusted installer underlined like this and then click on ok once that is done hit apply then click on ok ok once again and then click on edit to change permissions allow full control hit ok yes and then click on ok once all of that is done click on game bar presence writer.exe and rename it just go ahead and type in one in front of it and then hit enter and as you can see the error box has changed now it says that you will need to provide administrator permission all you need to do is click on continue and voila now it has been changed the reason we just put in one at the end of it is because if you want to revert this setting all you would need to do is go ahead right click on it click on rename and then remove the one from the end of it but now that we have successfully stopped it from running when we boot the windows next time there is another thing that we need to do in order to ensure that it is completely disabled and for that you need to go down 
into the description of this video and download the disable game bar presence writer pack right here once you have it downloaded all you need to do is open it up and extract the files from it using 7-zip winrar or even the windows default zipper once extracted go ahead and open it up and inside of here you will find two registry files as well as a revert folder to revert these registry files as well for the first one it is the disable game dvr and game bar all you need to do is double click on it hit yes hit ok and once again if you want to know what these do all you need to do is right click on them click on edit and inside of here you will find what they actually do so basically it goes ahead and disables capture it also disables game dvr from game config store as well as disabling it from the application management as well as disabling the game dvr service and also both of these reg files and the revert files are made by og tech so credit to that guy once you have applied the first one go ahead and do the same for the second one double click on it hit yes hit ok and now you have successfully applied both of these registry tweaks you can close out of this you can keep this pack or even delete it it's really up to you but now that you are done here go ahead and use this tool to optimize your windows 10 or windows 11 for ultimate gaming and performance